Uh, you and I went to the Lakers Clippers game Tuesday night. We After the show, we, we jetted down there. there. Yes. Got there midway through the first quarter. We made good time in LA, yeah, man. We did. We Still took an hour, but we made good you know, time. Yeah. But uh what a game. Great game. And a lot to take away from it. The Clippers looked every bit as good as you expected. As advertised, yep. and they don't even have Paul George yet. That was the scary part. Chris, that team is ten deep. Oh, they're they're great. Right? I, I I said it before. If they hadn't gotten Paul George and you drop Kawhi Leonard in that team, they'd still be a contender. Right, now, they might right. not be the favorites. They might not, exactly. Probably wouldn't be the favorites, but they would be a contender. And we saw that. They they beat the Lakers by 10. But, there again, a lot to take away. Kawhi Leonard looked like the best player on the floor. Man. Looked like the best player in the on world. On both ends. He ends. deserves that right now. No, really. Coming off what he did last year, he should be considered the best player in the world. Now, and, and he had a if nice somebody 30, takes it this right. year, because, you know, it's in flux right now. That's fine. But right now, he, he deserves that. And it was a 30. It wasn't like like you all of a sudden you looked up and went, he has 30. Like it wasn't like I'm forcing the issue. I'm trying to make every shot. It wasn't a natural flow of the game. That's he, what I he love. He took over in the second quarter. Right? Yeah, and when it mattered. he did it in the flow. It didn't take away from Lou Williams or any of the other teammates, which I love. And it, that's somewhat unique now. Yes. Because a lot of the best scores dominate the basketball and everything revolves around them. So they were impressive. But, Rob, the thing, when I drove home from the Staples Center, yep. the thought on my mind was why was LeBron James subpar? Because the reason I picked them, and, and you know, and I've, I picked the Lakers to win it, you picked the Clippers, right. and I've said, there's every reason to believe the Clippers will win it. They should be the favorites. I will not be surprised in the least bit if they win it. But the reason I'm giving the Lakers a shot right. – in addition to, you know, obviously you got Anthony Davis. You got and they some got, other good right. players. And they added some other. They made a lot of upgrades yeah. on their roster. No so doubt. we all know that. Last year they didn't make the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs, and they're going to be in the mix. Yep. No doubt. I've never said they're not going to be in right, the mix. Right, But the reason I think that they can win it is because I'm expecting LeBron James to be LeBron James. Now, you, he's, we know he's lost a little something because he didn't guard Kawhi. Which nobody didn't surprise anybody. No, he doesn't do that anymore. Right? He's not going to do that. Right. He's so, not going to put himself. Now he like actually that. played good defense for what you know they he had put a him. Block. They hit what, him. He had two blocks. He had he had a, at least one block. Two took two charges. Yeah. One block charge taken right back to back play. So great job. He was focused. He was dialed in, and they hit him. He guarded Patrick Beverly, Montrez Harrell. So that was fine. But offensively, he was not the LeBron James that they're going to need him to be. And I think there are many reasons. I, I think, look, one, it could just have been a bad game. Two, he was obviously, I think, going out of his way to focus on getting Anthony Davis going. LeBron said in the preseason, we're going to revolve, we're going to run through Anthony Davis. Why have him if you're not going to run the offense through him? So I think LeBron was purposely, look, this is your team, AD. We're going through you. We need you to be the man to the point where he sacrificed his own offense. I think he also was con- was really focused on getting everybody else involved because there were many times he was in the paint where he could have went up for shots and he was looking out at the three-point line to pass out or even pass to the interior. So if if that's if that's what I think it is, I think that's why he didn't play as well. He had 18 points. Then I'm fine with that because he'll adjust. But the question now that you're 35, we wouldn't have asked this three years ago, right? But when you're thir- about to be 35 in your 17th year, we have to consider that perhaps Father Time is really knocking at your door. And if that's the case, Rob, they have no chance. That's what I took away from it, Chris. I, you did I, take I, away to this age? Yeah, he looked old to me. He just he looked slow. He looked like he started out. Now, we got there, right? It started out 13. About four to, minutes left. It was 13 we got to there 2. After right, that, right, after that. But they, you know, from the people we talked to, at least that I did, they said he came out, you know what I mean, was pumped, energy, like, you know, and you said he had to rest this past summer. Right. This was a chance to rejuvenate, be ready. And that's just one game, I'm not going to say. But he looked like he was out of gas in the second half. And he just wasn't where I thought he would be in a big game from this standpoint. Without Paul George at the Staples Center, 
trying to send a the message. Crowd the crowd was following it. Was mostly right? Laker fans, right? right? It was a big. It was Even a big because it was a Clippers, it, it was a Clippers home, game. home game. I just didn't get that feel. I thought he was off and he was a little slow. And I and I know he had 18 points, 19 shots to make 18 points. That's not a good Seven night. Seven for 19. Am I right? No, he's used, He's one of the most efficient players we've That's, seen. So right. for him to shoot well below 50% is is way off LeBron James. You're ready to make that determination off one game? I said that's what I saw. I just I thought he looked slower or older to he me. He didn't look the same for sure. That's all. I don't I don't know if that was just a bad night. Uh you know he was too amped up, you know what I mean and and he came crashing down. I don't know. And there I need are... to see I need to see more of it before I can say that. Oh yeah. He he's old right, and done. Okay. I'm so not saying not that. Yet. Okay, but I, that's what I took away from that game. There are people around the league who said last year he didn't look like LeBron James, right? And not just they're not just looking at the losses; they're looking at the impact. See, on the, the impact game. we had. The numbers were the same, and he that's what we thought last numbers. night, last year, didn't we? There were games that LeBron. We always thought LeBron James, if he's playing well, you're going to beat the Grizzlies. I don't right. care what. I don't care what's going on. We You're going to beat the Suns. Defense, but offensively, he wasn't impacting the game, and that's that was clearly the case in Game One. He did not put his imprint on the game, which is and completely actually, unusual for LeBron. James. When they came back and made the run, Chris, he was LeBron on the was on the bench. Yep, and then and when it he was, went back out. They immediately went back <laughs> down by ten. Right? Now, I'm not. We're no, not no, blaming no. him, but that, that at and, that point that happened, and he had a bad plus minus in that game. Is it on there? I Negative think, eight. Yeah. Negative eight. And they lost by 10. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anthony Davis actually had a plus three, plus minus. But, yeah, I look, it, it happens to everybody. Kobe's 17th year, he actually had a good season. And then he, that's, he got hurt at the end of that season. And then from there, you know, it was three years of being banged up, you know, the rest of his career. Uh, if LeBron were to lead the Lakers to the championship, Rob, it would be unprecedented. The only two players, superstars, and and I'm using this word liberally to lead right, not, their teams not talking championships about right. at this stage of their careers were Tim Duncan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And let's be honest, Magic was the leader of that team by that point. And for Tim Duncan, you know, you had Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker was the leading scorer. Kawhi was now there, even though he wasn't a star yet. He was, you know, so Duncan was the leader. But they weren't statistically what they were in their prime. So LeBron, if he were to average again 26 and 8 and 8 and all that and lead them to a championship, it would be unprecedented. But it also would not be surprising, Rob. If if indeed, if it is age, it wouldn't be surprising. Not it at all. It actually should be expected. I, and, and, you know, year 17 and all the basketball he's played, uh. everybody has a shelf life. I don't care how big and strong you look, Chris. There's just so much in your legs, right, and just yeah. so much in your body, and that's why it, uh, for LeBron to falter or go the other way uh, would not be like, oh my God, it's unbelievable. No, this ain't year ten; it's year seventeen. No, no. no. And He's... a lot of guys at this point, when they get there, how many star players ended their careers with bad injuries at the end? No, well, Larry Bird's back. Isaiah, you know, Isaiah Thomas with the Achilles. No, it, it it's happened to a number of them. Obviously, you hope he doesn't get hurt. No, no, no. But I'm just saying because of the wear and tear that you, you – Well, that's why when guys retire, it's not because they can't go out once every two weeks and have a great game. I mean, Kobe has 60 on his last night. They retire because shots, they can't do it consistently. They can't play through 82 games. They can't play 60 of those games at their, you know – top speed and that's why guys retire because physically if you play 60 games and you're older your body's gonna break down so hopefully LeBron is not at that stage of his career yet I don't think so I think it was more getting AD involved I, I've noticed you like in that the past, is he the right is he should he be point guard Chris yes or no Here's the thing with LeBron. I'm asking if, if well, he's going to tire out or he's going to be. Well, they were pressuring huh? him. And That's what look, I'm saying. On the first hand, I will give him credit. When Patrick Beverly is picking you up full court. Full court. And huh? you are able to bring the ball up. He, you know, he did the Mark Jackson. He had his back to him and backed him down. 
that's that's all right because it's not easy to get the ball up against a guy like Patrick Beverly. I love that court. about Patrick Beverly because oh, nobody does that anymore. He sets the tone. Right. I, I was talking to a scout the day after the game, and he said the reason they're going to win a championship is Patrick Beverly. He's like, I know he's not Kawhi Leonard. I know he's not Paul George. I know George, what he means, though. But that energy, that is infectious, and he sets the tone. He's a dog. And you don't have that many of those in the league anymore. But to answer your question about LeBron, one thing I've noticed about him, going all the way back to his first stint in Cleveland, when he was the definitive point guard, like I'm playing point guard for the next three weeks or something, he went out of his way to get everybody involved. And he had a, had problems finding that balance between being the aggressive scorer he usually is and getting everybody set up. LeBron is a smart player. We all know his basketball IQ is high. If he plays point guard, he's not going to play it like Kyrie and Damian Lillard, these newfangled guys who really are scorers and shooters well, first. just have the They're ball. They're just short. Right. And they right, can right, dribble. And right, 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 right. right. So he's going to play it more like a, a true point guard. Get his points, yeah, but look to get everybody else going. That's Kyle Kuzma's important for them because if LeBron's looking to get everybody else going – you only got AD that can really do damage. And it, and Kuzma's got to be out there. I think they're probably some hybrid of what he's done his whole career, point forward, because you're going to need his 25 points. And the other thing, too, is uh, Danny Green's big night. That's going to be his best game of the season. I, am I right? No, I mean, probably, in fact, that's scary. You said more than you know, because as great as Kawhi was, Rob, I looked back at it, I didn't realize it that night. But Danny Green actually did a good job defending him because early on when Green was on him, uh, he didn't get going. Right. Second half, I think Kawhi only had like five. He didn't have double-figure points. Danny Green did a good job on him. It When he went off was on KCP, Contavious Caldwell, who, who, who played way too small to who try played, to guard. Who played 27 minutes and had no points. That yeah. can't happen. Yeah. I mean, that's a terrible night. And you got torched, understandably, by Kawhi. Right. But he's too small. I don't even know why they put him on Kawhi. I, I didn't get that either. But, yeah, so we want to throw it out to you guys. What do you think? Did you see Father Time weighing in? Has he caught up to LeBron? Your turn to weigh in, 877-99 on Fox. I'm holding out hope that he hasn't caught LeBron. I really don't think he did. Totally. But uh, let's see what you guys think. We'll continue the conversation with you next has Father Time finally caught up to the king? Let's start with Max in Georgia. Max, welcome to the Eye Couple. What's happening? Hey, good evening, fellas. Check the tape, but was Chris Broussard tampering with me on Tuesday night, calling me a Broussardite? <laughs> was that you? <laughs> I did say he that. He was tampering, Rob. What were you he talking about? You? What was it that made me say that? We were we were talking about Belichick versus Brady, and I said I thought Belichick was had the edge, and you made a, you made a good argument, and I said okay, I can I can live with that. That's right. That's and, right. And yeah, he's not. Came to your Max is not a Broussard. Max, you will come. You will no, come you're over not. to my side within the <laughs> by the end of the year. You will be on. And my Max, side. when Ooh. I come down to Atlanta, down to Georgia, don't, don't do it, Max. We're going to we're going to Magic Go City. Get we're going to eat, wings. But don't don't hang out with Rob. Hang Park out after with me, 6 Max. PM. Okay. <laughs> my guy, I'm I'm looking forward to it. All right, Let me get into go Kawhi. Ahead, what you, Rob, got? you know you're my guy for life. So no Kawhi doubt. Leonard, Tuesday night, he reposted and retagged his NBA Finals MVP demeanor, his killer focus. He was literally in zero dark 30 point mode. The leader of all scores, 30 points, five rebounds, six assists, two blocks. The Terminator commercial had me pumped for a movie I wouldn't dare pay. He he was – yeah, Marty, he was great. Or, or Max, he was great. Let's go to Marty in Kentucky. Marty, you on with Chris and Rob. What's happening, man? What's happening, guys? Speaking of father time, I'm going to say father time is not going to get LeBron. It's another father that's going to get him. And his name is Kawhi Leonard. Ooh. And it's his daddy. And River's got something to say. Um, <laughs> well, Kawhi's the king's daddy. What do you say? LeBron, LeBron, Le, what do you say? What? Kawhi's Hold the king's on, daddy. River, say it again. The horn is the king's daddy. Ah, I love River. I love River. <laughs> I love River too. But Marty, Marty, that is so disrespectful. What if indeed, if indeed Kawhi Leonard, yeah, has surpassed LeBron? He's I mean, LeBron's sides. old. 
He's older. I mean, this is a passing of the torch, if anything. It's not it's like not- Kawhi's just going to just dominate a prime LeBron. Well, Kawhi should write him a check. He should write a child support check to his mama. Wow. Man. Daddy. Marty. Marty going hard. Thanks, All Marty. Right. Appreciate the call. Marco in North Carolina, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, fellas. How you doing tonight? Doing great, great man. What's happening? Uh, first and foremost, what I want to say, this is by far the best radio talk show on the planet. No discussion, no argument. Wow. Marco, thank you Marco, very much, That's man. very really nice. I appreciate that. Real um, talk. Yes. Uh, I think, in my personal opinion, I think Father Time is catching up with LeBron. But, I mean, the man's been playing for 17 years. I believe if you put Kawhi in his prime against LeBron in his prime, uh, I think it's not even close, you know, just because of the simple fact LeBron is just a better player. As of right now, of course, Kawhi is a better player because LeBron's already in his 17th season. Right. right. You know? But right. I think the other night when they played against the Clippers, I think LeBron was trying to do a little bit too much to get AD the ball. Right. So I think if LeBron just plays LeBron's basketball, I believe the Lakers will probably come around. And also, just like Kuzma, he wasn't in the lineup. Rondo wasn't in the lineup. So, you know, I believe as soon as they get those guys back, I think the Lakers will probably, you know, turn it around. But, but Marco, but also you got to be, you got to admit, they didn't have Paul George, the Clippers. Facts. You facts. know, you know you what know, I mean? Right. Both teams yeah. were missing key parts. Right. No so that's the only it. part that makes you wonder. Thanks for the call and the nice and the nice words, Marco. Let's go to Mark in New Orleans. Mark, you on with Chris and Rob? Hey, how you guys doing? We're great, doing man. Great. How are you? All right. I, I want to say LeBron looks old. And if you don't believe me, not that he's right. Did you hear what Kenny Smith said? No. Yeah, which I didn't agree with. What did he say? Kenny, I missed Kenny, it. Kenny said that Kawhi Leonard made LeBron look not athletic. That's he turned. That's wow. how he said it. But made, made, he made LeBron look unathletic. Here's the thing, though, Mark, and, and I think you'll agree with this. They weren't matched up with each other. Occasionally, Kawhi guarded LeBron. Occasionally. LeBron never guarded Kawhi. So, if LeBron looked unathletic, it wasn't because of Kawhi. Or unless he's saying they're the same size and you saw the difference in Kawhi's speed and LeBron. Compared to that. Maybe it was, yeah. Yeah, it it couldn't. They didn't really match up with each other. No, I got it. Well, I want to say one more thing. But uh, Anthony Davis, I saw him for seven years with my own eyes. He's overrated. Okay, you're not alone, and I, I don't. I'm not saying that, but there are people around the league I've talked to. I, I was talking to a scout the it's other day. He that. said he doesn't scare you. Right. He's he said he's great, and I'm gonna say this: he is great. He's a great defensive player. Offensively, he's good at everything. But is there? There's no one thing he does that wow. is dominant. Right. Well, you say you can't Just, stop him right. from doing this. Yeah, or that. you post him. He's gonna get his buckets. Right. But he's gonna miss some. He, you know, you're not worried about that. He's not Kevin Durant on the perimeter, even though he can shoot it. Let's go to Paul. Paul in Baltimore. In- what you got, Paul? As, uh, you guys are the best uh, sports talk show anywhere, all day, every day. Just need to let you know that. Hey, Thank Paul, you, you know we what? It. And, I, and I got love for b more. real no talk. No doubt. Appreciate right. that, Paul. Yes, sir. So I do think that Father Time is catching up with LeBron. I mean, obviously, and it's not just that he's played 17 seasons, but when you add – all the postseason, yes. right? In like three years, so he's like got twenty years on his body. Not to mention You're right. The Olympic, all the I mean, way, yeah. All yeah. that stuff added up. Yeah. That that counts on your body, Paul. No doubt. Yeah. The thing is, though, but when I watched the game uh, the other night, I really think it was because he was trying to be dedicated to point guard and keep his promise to AD. But if you remember, he's a gracious guy. So like when he got to Miami the first year, he was really not trying to take the team away from D Wade. D Wade had to say to him, "Hey, man, this is your team." And I think that there's going to have to be a decision made. Hey, you know, AD, you know, it's going to be passed off to you. But while I still can do this point forward thing, let me do this. And we both can eat. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're going to have to figure it out. That's a good point, too, about D-Wade, because you're absolutely right. Good call by Paul. Hey, it's the Odd Couple. I'm Chris. He is Rob. And we want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. You know, you can listen to us on the radio. And now you can watch us as well. And it's fun. No question about it. And remember, oh, yeah.